Kuzmig here. I'm on my way to Fresno Foreign Wreckers, okay, in Fresno, California. Fresno is about mm, 150 miles-ish from, uh, from my home in San Jose, so, uh, so yeah, I'm here in the Prius, and uh, I just got off with the I-5, and yeah, so, uh, so that's the dealie. We're headed to Fresno to get that part. I could not... There was a there was a part in in Utah I looked up and and I was wondering mm, let's see here it was only fifty dollars it said okay but uh yeah so it said it was only fifty dollars so I was thinking well let's see how much it'll cost to ship that part if it's only fifty bucks it might not be too bad then we don't have to go to Fresno <laughs> so we're uh, we're headed to Fresno because I couldn't find the part anywhere else there the only other place I could find that cross member is. Um, eBay, okay, eBay, it was an eBay, and it was like $300, so I was like, well, $300, $150, and yeah, I had to take a day to drive there, and you know, wear and tear on the Prius, and that's not my game, but, um, yeah, so, so I said, well, okay, okay, so the other place, actually, the, the place in Utah, they didn't have it, um, they said they haven't had a, this is, that's the same story, I called another place, it was in LA, and they said they didn't have it either, even though the computer said they had it also. So some of these, some of these salvage places, they uh, their inventory isn't updated. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to call them before you come. Okay, <laughs> so so luckily enough, the the one in Fresno, they have it. So I hope I, I hope they still have it because I called them and that's what they said. They said they had it. And just to, they said it'll take a couple hours for them to take it off the car. So so here's the plan. The plan is to go. Uh, go drive over to Fresno, you know, Fresno Foreign Wreckers, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to go take a look at the car, uh, well, hopefully they'll let us take a look at it before they take the part off, and I tell them, yeah, I, I need that part, take it off, <laughs> and they said it'll take a couple hours to get it, I don't know, we'll see, hopefully, hopefully they work pretty fast, I mean, these guys are auto wreckers, man, they'll take a car apart, and, you know, an hour or two, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll take a look at the part, and then, and then we'll buy it, and then throw it in the Prius, and then drive on back. Maybe I'll get, maybe while they're working on it, I might go get lunch or something. So, uh, and then, uh, and yeah, and then head on home. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe getting the lower control arms if they're in good shape. I found out the the 1G uh, DSM control arms are uh, they're hard to find. <laughs> But there are aftermarket ones, though. People make these fancy aftermarket ones. There are some performance ones, you know. And uh, and yeah, so that you can still get, you can still kind of get them, you know. But they're not the original ones, okay. Um, that's what I'm gonna say. I actually have another set of lower control arms, and and I was kind of looking at everything. I actually looked at the car last night before I took off to see, if, you know, if there was anything that I might need to get, and I was, I was looking at the lower control arm, and that's one of the things that, that corrects the toe, right? So, um, that's one of the things, that that's what happened to the, the car, the, the wheel, the toe get, you know, you get extreme toe, <laughs> extreme toe in. So, that's what happened. Um, yeah, extreme toe in, and then, uh, so that, that's what happened, and, uh, and it could have damaged the lower control arm some kind of little dents in it but it didn't look it, it looks straight still so I was like yeah it might be fine so so if these control arms are good I might take them you know just for the future you know I do have an extra set of control arms at home and but they're the ball joints are bad so the ball the ball joints are what go bad on these control arms that's the reason you would replace it you know um, the basically the boot gets torn and the dirt gets in there and it just you know it's no good anymore so or it starts to become no good. <laughs> uh, mine are still good, though, so uh, let's hope they're still that way. So, so the, uh, we'll try to grab those control arms just, you know, just just in case. You know, um, it's $150 for the cross member. I think that's a pretty good deal. You know, um, and they're gonna take it off for me, so uh, that's, uh, that's half the work for me. You know, <laughs> I'll have to go to junkyard and do it. Plus, I couldn't find any of the junkyard anyway. So, um, and yeah, so, so that's it, cool deal, yeah. And then uh, what else? Yeah, so we're so first we're gonna try 
replacing the cross member and then try to straighten the wheel out as much as possible you know that should help straighten it out a good amount because since that's what's what's crumpled you know and then and then like uh, we'll have to go from there we'll get a wheel alignment we'll see what needs to be adjusted you know and if it's not in spec then we got to replace whatever's been okay uh, I, visually when I inspected it it looks straight okay but you never know you know because I had the same problem with my Eclipse <laughs> Um, so the previous owner of the car got in some kind of accident and something was bent back there and they didn't ever, you know, fix it. And then I, my, the, rear, the rear of my car was all wobbly all the time, you know, trying to figure out why. Well, it's because, like, uh, they got in an accident and the cross member bent, you know, and they could never return it back to stock uh, specs anymore, okay? That's the story with that, and then so I had to change the cross member, and then it straightened out. Okay, but it was this process of like, oh, I take it to get it aligned, and like, oh, damn, the alignment is messed up. They can't, they can't adjust it enough to, to, you know, to put it back in the spec. And then, uh, and then it's like, oh, I replaced the arm. Well, same story, you know. So I was like, well, you know, maybe it's the cross member. So the good thing is we're starting, we're starting at the part that's like in the center of the car it's where everything is connected so it's it's the hardest part to get to so if something else is bent from there on out you know like let's say the you know the look the toe is off on the left or the toe is off on the right you never know like the car got moved quite a bit you know um yeah so so that's the story with that um and then and then yeah from from the wheel alignment we'll start replacing other stuff so hopefully hopefully that'll take it should get it back on the road. The important thing is, hey, I need to get the brake and light inspection and uh, and stuff uh, done before, before before the registration expires. So yeah, that's the scoop. Um, what else? Um, oh, I did uh, go on performance part out yesterday, and they have a bunch of uh, Gallant VR4 parts, and uh, and I was able to look up they have a, a fuel door so that's one of the things I needed that got all scratched up uh, they have the little the dog leg thing the for the uh, side skirt so I can get one of those I don't think I really need it though I just need the, the clips you know and then uh, what else oh and the, and the little reflector the reflector on the bumper that's messed up yeah they had that too so uh, so a lot of the the major parts that got scratched up I can I can just replace it so parts from another car so so lucky there so and then and then the body work well, I'm gonna have to pay someone to do that you know um, I, I'm pretty sure that the bumper the actual bumper bumper the part inside the the cover for the bumper is uh, is bent to uh, it looks like it's tweaked a little bit but eh, I think it's okay as long as I can make it look somewhat presentable again I, I think it'll be okay you know? but, but the important thing is to we need to get it back on the road so I can get the south title all finished okay because uh it's incomplete right now we can't do it until we do the brake and light inspection and uh, i kind of need to get that light though the light thing is broken on it now i guess i could put a piece of electrical tape over it i don't know man i, I don't know what they're gonna say with the during the brake and lamp oh your, your your light is busted you know like because it has like a crack down the center you know i might try to i could try to glue it back together for now you know just to get it to pass so yeah, so that, that's the goal. They're trying try, at least by the end of December, we need to get this thing squared away, okay? We need to get it roadworthy, okay? And then we can work on the cosmetic stuff later. We'll, we'll take it to a body shop, you know? I got $2,800, we're, we're, we're down like 150 and maybe, you know, a lot of hours of driving and, <laughs> and then a lot of hours of work to put that, put that stuff in that hasn't happened yet, you know? And then some of that other stuff, okay? So yeah, so that's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna pick this uh, cross member up. Hopefully, it's in good shape. You know, put it on the car, straighten out the suspension, and then uh, put everything back in. Get alignment done, and then we'll see what what else needs to be replaced. You know, but at least uh, get it somewhat roadworthy, and then we can do the brake and lamp inspection, and then finish everything. So so yeah, you know, it might not be too bad. I I still don't think uh, State Farm paid me enough, man. Um, I still thinking like man we should probably hire a lawyer and try to sue him you know 
things. The car is worth more than that. You know, they, they're. I tried and I tried. I pleaded and I pleaded. I, you know, in in the end, all it comes down to is, hey, can you fix my car? You know, that, that's all I wanted them to do. Return the car in the state it was before uh, before the accident. Is what I'm gonna say. So, so yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the plan. So. Well, uh, I, it's unfortunate that State Farm did that to me. You know, I highly don't recommend State Farm. Don't go with that insurance, man. Go with like Geico or something, man. I've had good experiences with Geico, so. But uh, yeah, so, so that's the plan. Um, we're gonna hopefully the cross member will be all that needs to be replaced because that's all I can visibly. That's all I can visibly see is the problem with the car. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the cross member. Something else could be damaged, okay? And we won't know that until we start driving it and then until we do get a wheel alignment done on it, okay? But, um, but I think the cross member should be able to correct the majority of the damage of the car, okay? I, I hope the trailing arm isn't broken because the trailing arm looks is really stout on the Galan, okay? It looks really strong and it's kind of a big part. Um, now we could buy a trailing arm from this place that we're going to because they have the whole car, maybe, you know? I hope most of the parts are still there. You know? <laughs> but yeah, we could buy the trailing arm. Uh, I'll see how much it costs. If it, if it's not too expensive, maybe I'll just pick it up just in case. The left one. I, I might as well just get both sides, you know. Um, but we'd have to take the brakes off and all that. So I don't need all the brakes. Like that, you know? so, um, okay. Well, when we get there, we'll. Uh, I'll try to shoot a vlog. All right, here we go. All right, he's making here. Here we are. We're at a Fresno Foreign Wrecking here. I can't even get in the parking lot because this big ass truck is blocking, <laughs> blocking it. Hopefully, we can get the part that we need here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this is where it is. It's like kind of just like right off of like some highway. <laughs> what a dump this place is. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get our part here. All right, he's making here. So it's not looking good, dude. So they just took me into the yard. I had to wait like 20 minutes and then they let me into the yard. I asked them if I could see the part. They said they say they have it, but I asked if I could see it. And then we went into the yard and the dude that I was with couldn't find the car. So there was a Talon TSI Turbo there. I, I don't think it was the all-wheel drive. So plus all the rear suspension was gone. So um, hopefully they find it, you know, so. So they're still looking for it. Hopefully they, they got it because I would hate to drive all the way here and them not have it, you know? <laughs> all right. But they say they have it, so all right. The, the dude's looking somewhere else now, so I don't know. All right. All right, hey guys. So, uh, yeah, I uh, they said they can't find the car. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, man? Like, uh, they said they, they, they threw it away or... Uh, or they just you can't find it so I don't know what the deal is man like I drove all the way here they said they had the car man I'm like this place is ate up dude I'm telling you I've never seen a junkyard like this before man like uh, it's not like it's like a pick and pull but not a pick and pull if you know you know all the cars look all really beat up and stuff like they've been there for a long time and yeah it looks looks kind of disorganized you know, it's not like a fancy place that's like an indoor warehouse or anything, man. All these cars look like they're just rotting out here, man. <laughs> it's kind of kind of sad. But I did find a couple. There was a Talon TSI. That was the closest I could find. It was a white one. Um, but he said the car was like black, and they have they have numbers written on the cars, uh, so they so they can identify, you know, you know what what the cars are. So. This might be like the other ones, you know, I, like it pops up on the computer. Hey, they have this car. They have this part. And then when I call them, I say, oh, no, we don't have that. And then and then it disappears in the computer the next day. Because <laughs> these, these junkyards, these salvage yards, man, they don't take care of their inventory very well. They don't keep track of their inventory very well is what I'm going to say. So I, I don't know what to say, man. Um, he said there is a junkyard down this road on the left. And uh, I can... Uh, I can probably ask them, uh, but I left my number with them, and I told them, "Hey, um, 
And, and they told me like, yeah, they'll look for it after they're kind of busy right now, but they'll look for it. And if they can find it, they'll, you know, they'll give me a call. So I told them, hey, I came all the way from San Jose and then you guys got nothing, man. I'm like, shit, dude, what a, what a waste. So, so I don't know. It looks like the only one I can get is that one on eBay. So at least I don't have to go drive really far to, to pick it up. You know, I can just have it ship, but it costs twice as much as they were asking here. You know, here they wanted 150, it's 300 on eBay. So, um, or I could try to get, I could try to get a part off of Gallant Vera 4. I'd kind of rather get it from an Eclipse. Because mine doesn't have the the all the steering the rear the rear steering and all that stuff, so I would be better just to get an Eclipse one, you know. So yeah, that's that's what's going on. Uh, they can't find the freaking car, man. I can't believe it. Like, how, how could you not find your your car just up and disappeared, man? <laughs> but like, yeah, I was looking at the cars here. I was like, man, I don't really want to get parts cars from uh, parts from the cars here, man. That's like, um. I don't know, maybe look up pick and pull, but there's a pick and pull right down the street from here, but I doubt they have the car. But anyway, let's go see, uh, we'll go to this other place and we'll see if they got one. Um, Alright. <laughs> Sad. Alright, hey, Zvega here. Uh, so I'm here at McDonald's. I just went to a place called Turner's Auto Wrecking. It was right down the street. The, the place that I went to before told me that you guys could check it out or something. And uh, and they didn't have one either. So, um, but he did. They did give me a number to a uh, to somebody that that might have it. Okay, it's a it's a wrecking yard in uh, in Washington, <laughs> in Washington. Okay, but like it's like yeah, they could ship it to you. I was like okay, so I'm gonna go give them a call right now before I eat my uh, my McRib and <laughs> and. Uh, and then um, hopefully they'll have it. If uh, and then we'll see how much it'll cost. I'm trying to find something less than 300 bucks because that I found one, but it's 300 dollars. The reason I came here is because it's half the price. So, but it's, uh, obviously it's not paying off. I'm wasting my time, my life, and uh, freaking uh, my gas to come down here. It's a good thing I use the Prius because uh, it saves a lot of gas. <laughs> All right, here's we got. Okay. So I just called APB Auto Auto Wrecking in Washington, and and they don't, they don't got one either. <laughs> so uh, this seems to be the story I'm getting every time. Uh, when I find one, I call them, and whoops, oh no, we don't have it. Uh, you know, same thing. And, and this one, I actually came down here. No, we don't have it. I'm like, oh. So and then uh, so that Turner's place told me to call this place, and they they would have two of them. And uh, and then they said they don't have one, so I was like, so I think the one on eBay is my best bet. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that looks like where we're going. Uh, the la my last resort is uh, DSM Tuners or Galant Vera Four. I'll post a wanted. We'll post a wanted ad or thread for the cross member, and then. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll we'll wait. I'll wait till the end of the week. And if I if nobody says they got one, then and, and, and no one no one's got one, and they don't got one for a decent price, then uh, then that's it, man. So or if anybody's watching this video and you've got a rear cross member for a first generation DSM, uh, please uh, please let me know. You know I I would like it. <laughs> I I needed to get my car back on the road. Okay. All right, he's being out. So I guess that I guess that's it. I'm just gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna head on home. There ain't anything else for me to do out here. All right. All right, hey, he's Mick here. So uh, so I made it back home. It's about five five o'clock ish. I've been driving. I feel like I've been driving all day. <laughs> I left about it was about like nine nine thirty or something in the morning. Okay, so so yeah that that. I've been on like a wild goose chase all day, okay? Um, so I'm trying to find this elusive 1G DSM all-wheel drive cross member, you know? So I don't even I don't even bother mentioning a Galant because I don't think you'll find one. Like I always mention Eclipse or Talon, maybe even a laser, you know? But 
but like I won't even mention a gallant. I'm looking for a gallant. I didn't even see any gallants in that that salvage yard, by the way. So, so that's the story. We went to uh, this Fresno Foreign Wrecker in uh, Fresno, uh, in kind of this shady kind of looking part of Fresno. There's a lot of like homeless kind of tents and stuff everywhere. <laughs> it was kind of kind of a place you don't want to be, man. There's literally like a hotel right next door and people camping like on the on the sidewalk, you know. I was like, yeah, all right. Anyway, we went there and then uh, uh, they said like, oh yeah, we got the part, you know, it's gonna take a couple hours to get it. And, uh, and I I told them like, I want to see the car before you guys, you know, before, before I pay you guys. And it's a good thing I didn't pay them because they didn't have the car, okay? So we went there, we went all the way to the other side of the freaking salvage yard. That's where all their Mitsubishis are, you know? And they had a, a few, they had a Talon TSI, okay? I don't think it was an all-wheel drive one. It was a front-wheel drive. Um, they had a couple a couple of Eclipses, other ones, and um, and a laser. They had a laser also, but like so, some of them were missing the rear suspension. Um, you know they were they were pretty picked already. You know they didn't, they weren't in such good shape. All the cars looked there kind of kind of junky, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and they could not find it. They were looking for a, there's a specific number. They tag each car with like a number and they, they write it with like a, a paint marker or something or a chalk marker. And they they couldn't find the car, you know. So what what ultimately happened is I left my number with them and I told and and then they said they'll call me if they find it, you know, like like uh, you know, my business you know, it wasn't important. I told them I came all the way from San Jose to get this part. So <laughs> like like they didn't really care, you know, it's like they not very good customer service at this uh, service yard. You know, I've been the I've been the salvage yards before. You know, and and this one it was kind of kind of shady looking. So <laughs> it's not the not the cleanest looking one. That's for sure. Okay, but it's just you know it's really hard finding one G stuff. Okay, so um, I I noticed when I was looking for parks, all you can find a lot of two G stuff, but all the one G stuff, all you know, there's no one G stuff unfortunately. So. Um, and then we went to, uh, okay, yeah, and then we went to a place called Turner's right down the street. They had, like, they had a, I got the business card. They said they got 10,000 vehicles in inventory, and, and I asked them, hey, you guys got a first, uh, first generation, uh, Eclipse or Talon <laughs> with the, the all-wheel drive one, you know? Yeah, that's, that, that immediately, you know, <clears throat> once you say all-wheel drive, that's it, you know, there's plenty of front-wheel drives, but there's no all-wheel drives, but they didn't have it. And then they gave me a card to call somebody. They looked up on their computer and they said, hey, call this guy. I called them. They didn't have it either. So that, that just seems to be the, the theme of this this elusive search for the, the DSM cost member. <laughs> Is that uh, um, if you do find a part and you call them, they tell you, oh, we don't have it. And then they, they these salvage yards, they don't keep track of their inventory very well, you know. So... Like they say they have it, but they don't have it, okay? Or, or like it's like some kind of old thing that they did, forgot to take out of the computer. Like they got rid of the car a long time ago, you know? So that kind of thing. So it's just really, really hard to find 1G parts right now, okay? Um, used to be once, once upon a time, there was, you know, the the graveyard, the, the junkyard was just littered full of them, you know? And now they're just pfft, nothing, you know? It's all 2G and 3G and up, you know? This, these cars are getting really old, so so uh, I posted a, a want, some want to buy threads on uh, DSM tuners and uh, and what was it um, on Gallant Vera Four forum. So hopefully somebody I, I got a reply from somebody, so I'm gonna go go send the email to them and see you know see what's up. Okay, um, the only one now the only one that I know of is the one that's on eBay for three hundred dollars. So I. I can get one, but it'll be three hundred dollars. So I don't know how much this guy wants for it. So I'm going to send him a message right now. So, so really, I went to Fresno to buy uh, some stuffed olives. Okay, <laughs> stopped by one of those fruit stands on the way, at, because there's a bunch of like farms and stuff along the way, and and I bought some stuffed olives for for my fo folks at home. You know, <laughs> it's like, hey, I came out here. I might as well buy something. You know. <laughs> So, so yeah, um, I, I'm actually not even supposed to be traveling, by the way. <laughs> there, there was like a, a county order saying like, hey, if you travel more than 150 miles away from home, 
you need to go home and then quarantine yourself for 14 days after because you might have coronavirus. So yeah, he's gonna try his best to wear a mask everywhere and not hang around other people. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm not like I said, I'm not even supposed to be traveling, you know. So, but Fresno is like exactly like 150 miles away from my home. So, so whatever, I don't care. Man. I don't think I got it. I really didn't come into contact with too many people today. So. So yeah, um, so that's where where we're at. So hopefully this this dude on uh, from Tuners uh, got got what I need, you know, and it's a decent price. So all right, here's my gal. Um, time to hang my head in shame. <laughs> it's just it's so hard to find parts for this car now, man. I'm telling you. But oh yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, also we're gonna go on I'm gonna go on performance part out and start buying those parts that I need for the car. Um, in fact, we can go take a look at it right now. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're here looking at the Galan again. So I think what's going to happen is, um, since we can't find this part, I'm just going to start taking the car apart, you know. So when I do have the part, we just just throw it in there, okay? Uh, I didn't want a bunch of parts lying around, but we can put them inside the trunk, like, like, like the good old days. <laughs> so the parts I'm going to get from Performance Part Out are the gas lid, which is still in pretty good shape. I mean, it's just got a bunch of scratches on it, but well, we'll get a gas lid. They have gas lids, so we'll get one like in the right color, okay? So we're gonna get this. Um, this, I have the plastic part for this. I, I still have it, and it's still in okay okay shape, but we'll, we'll, I'll order another one. They have they have a bunch of these, so well, in, in the right color, so. Um, and then we'll get the uh, this. That's what I need. Um, really, it's just a, it looks like, I'm not really sure, man. Yeah, I wonder what's broken on it. That's a good question. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty busted up, but, um, yeah, I, can, I will get one of these guys, okay? This, uh, side marker. And I think that's it. That's all, that's all I could really find, you know? I can get maybe a door handle just in case I break it in the future, but... I don't really see anything else to get, like unless I can find a bumper. It, honestly, the bumper isn't too bad. If we could just repaint that, you know, it'll look good again. Um, I'm pretty sure the bumper inside is probably bent a little bit, man. I'm telling you, I look at the side of the car and it looks kind of. One side looks a little more pushed in than the other, so. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. That's the easy stuff, okay, is what I'm gonna say. That's the easy stuff. One thing I might want to do, I don't know, there's some water in here. I have to figure out how to get the water out of there. Um, yeah, but uh, but yeah, so just this, this, and I'll get this, you know, just in case. Maybe I'll get both of them. I'll get them for the other side, just in case, um, for the future. And then, uh, and then yeah, I think that's it. That's all. That's all I really need to replace. That's that's easily replaceable. The rest of it. We're gonna have to just, you know, I mean, if I can get the plastic parts here. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, it's plastic, it should flex, yeah? So, yeah, if I can get, if I can get these plastic trims, that would be good too, you know? Other than that, the rest is just gonna have to be repaired by body man, you know? It's not too bad. Most of it is just repaint, you know? I might have to bondo it or something. All right, so. So yeah, that's what I got going on. Also, we're gonna go get those other parts. So, but uh, but we really need to get that cross member. That's the number one thing to get this car back on the road. All right, let's me up.